Hello, I'm fdx 3 cat and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to talk about hunger in Minecraft. This is one of the most fundamental parts of survival in the game, but it's something a lot of people don't truly really understand. And I realized this was true myself too recently, because I was playing the Pocket Edition and I was just thinking to myself, why is my hunger bar going down uh, so fast? I really can't tell, but it is kind of annoying. And the same thing's happened in battle mode recently. You'll be playing battle and then you realize, oh, I'm starving to death and we used all those pork chops already. Well, I guess we're going to die right now. So today I'm going to give you a guide on exactly what does make your hunger bar drain, as well as how not to do that and how to you, uh, do the exact same action, but use 40 times less hunger. So yeah, I'm going to be giving some useful little tips for hunger that might just help you out. Whether it is a PvP thing you do, or if it's just survival and you don't like cooking food or killing stuff quite as often, today's guide will hopefully help you out. So if you all do enjoy this video, please do like it and let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's maybe do like these kind of tangentially battle mode related videos, like this one, but still, uh, it's mostly useful for survival players as well. But yeah, with that said, let's get straight into the video itself, shall we? And let's start by explaining hunger, and explaining that it kind of is deliberately mystic and deliberately you know, kind of hidden from the player because most people think, okay, you got those 10 hunger shanks, those 10 hunger shanks go a bit down when you do stuff, try not to do stuff and they won't go down, or maybe people think it goes down by default, but the thing is, certain actions do drag down your hunger bar more than others, and the other thing that makes it really confusing, because even though all of those values are entirely hidden, there's also the fact that there's a hidden second hunger bar, so as well as your hunger bar, there's something called a saturation bar, which I've gone over a whole bunch of times, so I'll kind of skip through it, but basically a saturation bar is like a second hunger bar, but it's hidden from your site at all times, and it's basically a hidden way of rewarding rewarding you for eating good food. So if you eat uh, foods like, say, the apple, or like a potato, or like raw fish, you're not going to get very much saturation, and your second bar's not going to be very full, and then you'll start using up your second one. Whereas if you eat food like the cooked pork chop, you have a really long time before you have to eat again. And kind of show this in use, just that saturation does exist. Even though I'm eating a low saturation food here, uh, I'm going to fill up my, my second hunger bar, basically, by a couple of extra shanks, which means that if I decide to try and waste my hunger as fast as possible, notice how fast it's going to be, uh, sorry, how long it's going to be, until my first hunger shank goes down, even though I'm doing a crazy intensive thing on my hunger here, so we're sprint jumping and there we go, our first one's just gone down now, and then the second one goes down really fast after, then the third goes really fast after that, and then you'll see in a few seconds, the fourth will go down fast after that, and now it has, and just like that, um, you know, you can see that first hunger bar took basically the same time as the next four, so why is that? That is because of your saturation, it's a hidden second uh, hunger bar, and it basically, like I said, rewards you for eating good foods, the highest saturation foods are cooked pork chop, cooked steak, and the golden carrot, and the other clever thing about this that you might not realise, even if you do know about saturation, is that your saturation can stack with multiple foods. So the most you can get from one piece of food is I believe 14.4 saturation, but your max saturation is 20. So if you want to max it out before a fight, because it's a really big deal that you know you heal for as long as possible, because again, that's mostly what hunger is used for, sprinting and healing and stuff, uh, it might be really, really tactical to do something like this, where you use up your hunger bar deliberately down to so you can eat two of the food in a row, because now I can eat two, uh, two put cooked pork chops, and that means that I don't just get 12.6, which is what I'd get from one, I instead go all the way up to the max of 20, and now I've got a full full hunger bar. Not only do I have a full, you know, hunger shank bar, but I've also got a full saturation bar. The only way to do that is to eat two pieces of any good food, and it's something that, again, is kind of counterintuitive, and it's not how most people have been doing it, but now if I went off into combat, it would take me a very long time, even if deliberately trying to use up all my hunger, before anything like that happens. So yeah, if you're playing battle, if you're playing PvP, anything like that, this is a useful tip. If you're just playing regular survival, then just have a good food and eat it whenever you, you know, go down to the maximum thing, and that's the most efficient way to use it. But, the, yeah, the actual food itself that uh, you know, eating isn't really the biggest part of how people waste their hunger so bad and how you can be 40 times more efficient because the thing about hunger is it does get uh, drained by a whole bunch of sources the biggest individual source is uh, healing yourself this came in with uh, the most recent update for minecraft console uh, sorry uh, two updates go for minecraft console and it came in about a year and a half ago for other platforms where basically whenever you actually need to heal from something so it's gonna take me a while to do this and wait wait let's do this whenever you need heal from something uh, just like this so we, we get the half heart back up uh, one it takes uh, four seconds every single time so just in case that's useful for you uh, but also to Two, it uses up uh, basically a full uh, kind of half shank of your saturation of hunger bar. So if you have no saturation, it uses a full half shank of your hunger bar. And even if you do have saturation, it uses up a lot of that every single time. So healing is the biggest single kind of like contributor to, uh, you know, using up your saturation bar. But since that's the thing you probably want to use it for, what are the other things that you can kind of avoid to make sure you don't use it up so far? So there's a whole bunch of things that will use up your bar, and some of them you might not figure, like attacking an enemy, receiving damage, um, whenever you've got the hunger stats effect, whenever you break a block, it uses some. Whenever you go swimming, whenever you do any form of traveling, it all uses up some of your hunger bar, but there's some ways which are especially egregious and kind of wasteful that you want to make sure you avoid. So, um, I guess, uh, you know, kind of, uh, when it comes to, uh, combat stuff, the biggest one you want to make sure you do is just avoid unnecessary hits and hitting. So, if you're chasing a target because you, you know, you, I don't know, this is your PvP situation, you need to kill them. Uh, if you see someone else and you know you don't need to kill them, if you stop and do that, every single time you land a hit on your target, it uses 0.3 exhaustion. Again, that number will come in important, but just 
bear in mind, that's roughly one tenth of a hunger shank every time you hit or are hit. So if you uh, hit someone five times, you hit five times back yourself. That uses up the entire, you know, the equivalent of like an entire half hunger shank, which isn't too big of a deal, but in really big combat fights where you're going for a really long time, or if you're fighting a whole bunch of just mobs you don't need to on the way to someone, that can really, really use up your stuff. So only fight people that are essential if you're trying to waste your hunger, uh, save your hunger. But the biggest thing for saving your hunger comes from all of the movement based stuff. Because again, you can't really save yourself breaking blocks. You probably need to do that if you're doing that. But when it comes to traveling, there is some really wasteful ways to travel. And the most wasteful is sprint jumping. So what I figured I'd do right here is I'd uh, do the equivalent of a quarter hunger shank, not, you know, as far as the game is concerned, and show you how long it takes to burn that using each of the transport methods. So here is, uh, you know, sprint jumping. This uses uh, 0.8 each time we jump sprint. And uh, just like this, we've used, oh, and that's one quarter, uh, uh, one quarter of a hunger shank right there. If we went double as far, that'd be a full half hunger shank to use that. Again, we're using our saturation right now because we have so much of it. But again, that's just how fast you use a quarter hunger shank, which means if we went further and further and further, we'd use our hunger crazy, crazy fast. That's how we did it earlier. If we just decide to sprint by itself, though, we use literally half of the, uh, you know, the hunger per meter, which is so, so crazy because, you know, you, you got to consider the fact that sprinting is only marginally slower than sprint jumping. It's so, you know, it's, it's so close between the two, but yet it uses half of the hunger, which means that if you are chasing someone and you know it's going to be a long chase, even if they're sprint jumping, there might be some tactic in sprinting because if you just sprint, you're using half the hunger like per distance ran, which means they're going to have to stop to eat at some point and you're not going to, and then you can kill them and they're going to be eating and there's nothing they can do about that. So yeah, pro tip, sprint jumping is really wasteful and should only be used when you absolutely need that burst of speed. Uh, sprinting itself uses literally half the hunger, but you know what uses one tenth of the hunger of sprinting itself or one twentieth of sprint jumping? Just walking. So I know walking seems so primitive given that sprinting came out like literally four years ago now for console and like five years ago for the PC. Uh, but the thing about, uh, you know, just walking by itself is it's not much slower than sprinting. You might think that sprinting's so much faster, but if you walk, you're literally, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're going like 75% the speed of sprinting, which of course isn't great for PvP combat. But if you're not in a fight already or you're not chasing someone, why not walk there when it uses one tenth of the exhaustion, uh, one tenth of the hunger and one twentieth of the hunger of uh, sprint jumping, which is so, so crazy. So uh, again, we haven't even got to the sign yet. We've got quite some time to go. And this is just for one quarter shank. If we wanted to, you know, travel the entire map, we could do that pretty decently without really burning too much hunger. So this is the mistake I make. I love going fast in pretty much any game. By sprinting, I use up so much hunger. And even when I don't really need to, like I'm just walking back home, I'll sprint there. And that's why my hunger goes down so fast. So yeah, really useful tip here. Walk instead of running because literally it uses 10 times less. And that's per meter. That's not like per time. It uses something like, you know, 12.5 times less if you uh, factor that in, which is really, really important. So here's what I got to using that exact same same quarter bar of hunger I, I got from like here to there using the sprint uh, sprinting which was even less efficient than sprint jumping and I got from there you can barely see it the edge of my render distance to here with walking and if I was to sneak which I really don't recommend as too practical but if you have to save every last drop of your hunger because you know you've got only so much left before you start starving then if you uh, actually uh, you know crouch you'll use uh, you know half of what you use when you're walking for the same meter so you know per time it's like one quarter which is uh, which means that you know crouching is literally literally 40 times more effective than sprint jumping. And admittedly, they have different situations where they're useful, but if you're just going from one place to another and uh, food is so valuable, you don't want to waste it, then this is what you can do. So I would uh, crouch all the way to the next point, but it would take me literally, you know, like all this video. So what I'll do instead is I'll just fly to where I would have gone to if I'd have crouched this entire way. Uh, it's all the way over here. Here's where I could have gone, and it's slightly further because this is the edge of the world and I can't go any further. But still, I could have gone way further than this by crouching that same distance, and I'd have just used a quarter hunger shank. That's not even a half hunger shank that's not your bar going down at all and because uh, you know especially won't go down because we uh, you know have the full saturation that's how much crazily efficient you can be by just using your hunger system a bit better so yeah try to avoid any unnecessary attacks make sure you don't eat the food like this because that just burns your stuff by default when you're healing try to if you can use a healing potion you know it is worth doing it to save your hunger um when you are eating food try and eat two bits at once because that can give you this real big buffer against anything happening because again we can sprint jump for a really long time now even after all that walking and it's still not going to be anything you know, if we're sprint jumping and hitting and stuff. Um, as well as that, though, um, yeah, try to avoid sprint jumping unless it's absolutely necessary. You can literally get 40 times more out of uh, uh, crouching. You can get 20 times more out of, um, you know, just walking. And you can get double as much out of sprinting. So why would you? That's that's my simple point right here. Try and eat double, you know, eat, eat good food. 
eat two uh, bats fit at once, and then try to avoid sprint jumping or even sprinting, and you can use your hunger so much more efficiently. Like, you could literally use 120th of the pork chop. So, what would previously, you know, what a stack would, or this entire stack would previously get you, you could get done with just two or three pork chops, which is so crazy that, you know, the equivalent of those three is the equivalent of that, although they look roughly the same. But, <laughs> you know, that 40 pork chops is roughly the equivalent of where those three would get you. And in fact, these would still last you offwards. So, yeah, point, but the point I'm trying to raise here is that um, good food is really good, and pork chops are especially good for that reason, and that sprint jumping is really bad. I think that's the, the cure point you can take away from this. I hope you did all enjoy this video. If you did like it, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel out and lets me know you do like it. Share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. So yeah, let me know if uh, any of these tips are gonna like really in be ingrained in you. Oh, also another thing to keep in mind, just one more thing. Uh, when you're uh, when you're in water, uh, when you're in water and you're just, oh wait, did I fly that? When you're just in water like this, uh, when you're just walking through it, it's a little bit more uh, exhausting than walking. But if you sprint through the water, you got the same, okay, so just like this, you got the same speed, but you use almost 10 times more hunger. So just make sure that when you're in water, even though you, it feels tempting to sprint, you don't get any speed increase, but you do get a big hunger penalty. So yeah, with that said, I hope you did all enjoy this video. Hope you learned something. Let me know if you did in the comments down below if you're gonna be like, aha, now I'm not gonna attack all those cats on the way to my thing. Don't attack cats. But yeah, I'd love to hear that in the comments down below. But besides that, thank you all for watching and goodbye.